Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to see you and um, I enjoyed the uh, video on BB Warfield and now we're doing uh, John Gresham Machen, one of my great heroes of faith and who I love very dearly John Gresham Machen was born on July 28, 1881 died January 1st, 1937 was an American Presbyterian theologian in the early 20th century, he was a professor at New Testament at Princeton Seminary between 1906 and 1929. Led a conservative uh, rearguard action against uh, Princeton Theological Seminary and formed Westminster Theological Seminary, a more orthodox alternative. As the Northern Presbyterian Church rejected uh, the attempts of evangelical conservatives to um, that wanted to maintain the Westminster Confession, Machen led a, a charge uh, to form um, the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. Machen is considered one of the great Princeton theologians who had, since the formation of the college in the 19th century, developed Princeton theology. A conservative and a Calvinist, um, Machen, Machen can be compared to the great theologians as Archibald Alexander, Charles Hodge, A. A. Hodge and B. B. Warfield. He was neither a lecturer in theology, he was principally a New Testament scholar. Machen was born in Baltimore to Arthur Webster Machen and Mary Jones Gresham. Um, his early childhood, uh, he began studying at 17 at Johns Hopkins University. Uh, he, for his undergraduate degree uh, and he did sufficiently well to gain a scholarship he majored in classics and was a member of the Phi uh, Kappa Psi fraternity excuse me Machen was a brilliant scholar and in 1901 was elected uh, to the society, society after graduation despite having some Indecisiveness about the future, in 1902, Machen opted to study at Princeton Seminary, while simultaneously studying the Master of Arts in Philosophy at Princeton University. Excuse me. He also uh, went into st uh, studied uh, at Germany in 1905. There he met the Professor Wilhelm Hermann and was disturbed by this liberals theology uh, but he was able to work through the modernist theology and come back to his evangelical roots in 1906 to 1916 Machen joined Princeton Seminary as instructor in New Testament uh, among his influences was Francis Landy Patton who had been the pr prosecutor in 19th century heresy trial and B.B. Warfield whom he described as the greatest man he ever met In 1914 he was ordained, the next year he became assistant professor of New Testament. In the Second World, First World War he, he was involved uh, in France in the YMCA. Uh, he was suspicious of his family friend Woodrow Wilson's project to spread in democracy and imperialism. He was staunchly opposed to the war and upon returning to the US he saw that many of the provisions of the Treaty of Versailles constituted an attack upon international and, and interracial peace. After returning from Europe, Machen continued his work as a New Testament scholar at Princeton. During his period, he gained a reputation as one of the few true scholars who was able to debate the growing prevalence of modernistic theology while maintaining an evangelical stance. The Origin of Paul's Religion, 1821, is perhaps Machen's best known scholarly work. He was a uh, a, a very good uh, critique of modernist theology um, the modernists believed that Paul's religion was based mainly upon Greek philosophy and was entirely different from the religion of Jesus um, Machen published uh, Christianity and Liberalism in 1923 is another classic work of Machen he also published What is Faith and a number of other scholarly works such as The Virgin Birth there was a great controversy in 1924 to 25 
relations among the Princeton faculty deteriorated when the Presbyterians um, became much more liberal. Um, so Machen formed the Westminster Theological Seminary and also formed a, church, a new denomination. To me, Machen is one of the great heroes of the 20th century for me, and I, I just love his work. I love, I love the guy. A lot of people don't like him, but he's had a great influence on me. And it gets on my nerves when I hear these atheists say Christians uh, don't believe in giving arguments for the defense of their faith. And, and when I know my tradition of Princeton theology, how they were great scholars, and had the best scholarship of the day so much that even their critics couldn't even answer them. I get really upset. Uh, 